Welcome to the demo video on the installation of the Maestro free trial on a Windows server. Maestro can be installed on Windows or Linux servers, Linux 64-bit, and all the way down to Windows 2012 servers. In this demo, I'll be using a Windows Server 2022 edition uh, with about two gigs of RAM. It's very small. This is just a uh, an AWS EC2 instance that I'm using. Um, T2 small is the size. So again, working with a very small server here, use whatever you have at your disposal, either a virtual machine, on-premises or in the cloud, or a bare metal server if you have one to spare. Um, as you can see, I have just a very small uh, local disk here too, about 30 gigs total. Um, and I actually have installed, um, I promoted this to a domain controller. I've installed um, ADDS as well as DHCP and DNS right here all on this one machine. Now, obviously this is a test lab. So that's why I'm going to install the Maestro free trial right onto this domain controller. I'm sure Microsoft would tell you to install it in another place, but I just want to show how compact we can really be as we deploy a thing like a proof of concept or a test lab for Maestro. Maestro is non-disruptive, so as we install it, we can actually remove it very easily as well, and it will not have an impact on our DNS, DHCP, or IPAM environments. To get started here, for this video, I'm just going to concentrate on the on-premises environment and we'll do the cloud environment in the next video. I do have IIS installed, so you can just go ahead and install that on Windows by going to your server manager, clicking add roles and features. In uh, the select ins installation type, you'll select role-based or feature-based installation, click next, find your server and click next. And then right here under web server IIS, you'll select that, make sure it's checked and then click next all the way through and allow that to install. I already have it installed. So let's go ahead and see how we can get our hands on that free trial. Uh, if you just open up a browser and then go to metandmice.com and click on free trial, then I can just click sign up now, fill out some things and I will both be directed to the download page as well as get an email with some helpful information on how to get started. Like I said, for this video, we are only concentrating on the on-premises environment. So we only need to download two of the binaries here. So we're going to download the web application as well as Men in My Central. So the web application is what allows you to actually see and, and manipulate and work on DDI objects within your, your environment. Uh, Men in My Central is actually the brains of the operation. It's the application itself. And again, we would install the Men in My Management Console um, for some of the cloud connections and things like that um, in the next version of Maestro expected to come out in just a few months by the end of 2022. We will have fully deprecated the Management Console and you'll be able to use the web UI for everything. Now, I actually already have these things downloaded. It looks like they finished though. Um, so I'll go ahead and install Men in My Central by double clicking on it. You can see it's just extracting a .msi since we are in a Microsoft environment. And we'll click next at the install shield. We'll accept the EULA and click next. We could give it any name we like. Obviously it's pulling from Amazon here and we'll click next. And we're gonna go ahead and accept the default location, but feel free to change that. We'll do a complete installation and click install. And we'll click finish. Now we'll go ahead and double click on the web application Click I agree and install with EULA. Now remember, we already had IIS installed, so that's the only way this is gonna work. Um, we'll go ahead and click next. And again, accept the EULA. We're gonna go ahead and take these defaults and click next and install. And that completed successfully, so we'll click finish installation successfully completed. So that gives us the ability to then view what we have in Maestro. We actually have a working running version of Maestro right now, and we can get there simply by going to localhost because it's installed right here on the server. And you can see the Maestro UI pops up. Now in your email that you received, you should see a username and password. It is administrator administrator, very difficult. 
and we won't save that for right now, but you can see I have a working version of Maestro now. If I click on admin, I can go to licensing, and here's where I would import all of my licensing keys if I need to. This should be in your email. You can copy and paste it right from the email and click import. And now I've successfully added the license keys. And now we truly have a fully functioning Maestro environment. Now, of course, we'll need to import our IPAM information and connect to various DNS and DHCP services. And of course, set up things like role-based access control and all of that good stuff. And we will do that in the upcoming videos. Thanks everyone for watching and we'll see you in the next one.